I would like to thank the organizers for this uh, invitation. And I, I would like to say that uh, this invitation made me realize that uh, it is now, uh, I mean, we, with Hélène, we, we had uh, occasional mathematical discussions uh, since now more than 50 years. <laughs> And uh, they were always uh, very enriching for me. And uh, more recently, we, uh, we, we had a, a collaboration. In fact, Hélène was initiated a collaboration with, with uh, Zheng Dao, you and myself. And this is about the topic of today. And this collaboration uh, continued with Zheng Dao, you and uh, myself. So for everything, thank you, Hélène. So it is uh, exactly uh, 40 years now <laughs> that uh, De Ligne gave a seminar uh, here, I mean, in the other seminar room, um, where he introduced the notion of uh, irregular Hodge theory. And uh, so uh, he said the following, he, he wrote later, uh, this, uh, the, the notes of his uh, lectures were published uh, by uh, Daniel Bertrand in a book uh, published by French Math Society. And uh, in, these, in these notes, uh, the line uh, say that in the motivic case, every Durham cohomology group has a natural Hodge filtration. And can one hope such uh, filtration on, on groups which are uh, the Durham cohomology uh, over some smooth uh, varieties, uh, but with coefficients in a vector bundle with uh, connection and irregular singularity. Okay. And he says that I hope that such is the case when the <laughs> vector bundle with connection takes the form of uh, the exponential of a function, uh, uh, function on the variety. Uh, tensored with a polarizable variation of Hodge structure. Okay, but he, he noticed already that uh, if such a filtration exists, and uh, it, it should have uh, indices that are not necessarily integers, but uh, possibly uh, real numbers, because they were thinking of uh, real variations of Hodge structures. And for uh, the geometric case, it should be uh, rational numbers. Okay, so this, uh, this was not much known, but in fact, uh, this hope of the line, uh, I mean, was motivated by uh, the fact that uh, he, he said that uh, he wanted that this such a filtration would help to obtain uh, some uh, lower estimates for the eigenvalues of uh, Frobenius for, for exponential sums. And so uh, this kind of question, in fact, uh, was in some sense solved before the general theory of De Ligne was solved by uh, Adolfson and Sperber in the late 80s, uh, where they, 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 they proved that for some uh, exponential sums attached to some uh, Laurent polynomials or uh, mixed Laurent and polynomials, uh, they, they, they prove that uh, some uh, Newton polygon uh, is above what they call a Hodge polygon, but which is not defined by uh, Hodge uh, data, but only with this kind of combinatorial data, because uh, their situation was quite combinatorial. But now we understand that what they proved was exactly what uh, De Ligne had in mind, namely this polygon, this combinatorial polygon is in fact what we know now as the irregular Hodge polygon. Okay. And in fact, more recently, this irregular Hodge filtration and this, uh, say, uh, result like uh, Newton above Hodge in various cases was uh, proved by uh, some uh, mathematician, Chinese mathematician, Yichen Qin and Dexin uh, Chu, 
okay, for the case of uh, hypergeometric uh, sums. So, uh, this, uh, in some sense, this motivates uh, that uh, it would be interesting to understand better uh, this uh, irregular Hodge <coughs> filtration, how much it is related to uh, the standard Hodge theory. Okay, so let me start with the classical setting. Uh, so we, we start with a, say, a quasi, quasi projective smooth, quasi projective over complex numbers because we will discuss Hodge filtrations. And we, we, we consider the, it uh, as a take a good compactification. So these, as usual, uh, normal crossing divisor, x smooth projective, always over c. Okay. And um, so the line, I mean, you, you, you know very well in Hodge 2, uh, the line considered the, the, the filtration of the logarithmic Doram complex. So we consider uh, omega, uh, we call it fp. So this, this, this one, uh, omega uh, dot log d, okay, which is the, the complex which is trun truncated and start at omega p log d of x and continue like this. dimension n. Okay, so this, this is the usual Hodge filtration that the line introduced by st stupid truncation. And uh, the point is that uh, the theorem, main theorem, is that the, the, the cohomology, uh, the, the, the map in cohomology from this filtered complex to the total complex uh, sorry is uh, injective so this total complex is it can compute the, the cohomology of the open variety and the, this this map is injective first, and second, the image is the filter Hodge filtration of a mixed Hodge structure. Okay, so this, this was the, uh, the, the theorem of uh, the line, and now um, let, me, uh, let me consider the case where Instead of just a variety, we have a variety with a regular function on it. Okay. And so the, 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 the point, so this was, a, you, we, we want to consider now something like exponential of f, which means to consider the twisted Durham complex twisted by adding the differential d plus df, d df to, to the di usual differential. So this, this is the twisted Durham complex. Now, of course, uh, the, we cannot just uh, extend this uh, logarithmic construction in this case, because uh, in general, we take a compactification as before, but we would impose that uh, the pulse divisor, so the, the map f, extends as f from x to p1. So we choose such a smooth compactification. And uh, we, would, we, we would impose that uh, among the components of the divisor we added to u, there, are the, there, there is a pole divisor of the map. So the pole divisor 
with multiplicities uh, should be a part <coughs> of the normal crossing divisor. Okay, so let's let's start with such uh, data, and uh, we we cannot just uh, uh, replace d by d plus df in such a sequence, uh, just because uh, the df will add poles which are not logarithmic at infinity. Okay, so the idea uh, of Konsevich. The idea of Konsevich here is to define a new sheaf, a new complex. Now we put an F here, so this is now Konsevich. Uh, to define a new complex where instead of considering these usual sheaves, logarithmic sheaves, uh, we add a condition in order to, to be able to write such a complex d plus df. Okay? And so this is the, the how to do that. The idea is in fact uh, very simple. You define this uh, omega k log d f as the subsheaf of omega log d consisting of those forms omega such that well when you differentiate they, they be, be still be, belong to the logarithmic forms omega so that d plus df of omega uh, belongs to uh, omega k plus 1 log d. Okay, so... What can we just replace by df? Yes, so that d is not important here because any in any case, if you start from a logarithmic form, uh, d omega is still logarithmic. Okay, so in fact you just forget d in the definition and what is important is that df that really adds poles uh, and how, which poles does it add? A priori you, you write df as f times df over f. Okay, so you see that the poles that f adds uh, are exactly the poles of f. The f over f is logarithmic. Okay. So that's the definition. And so if you remember the Lin said, uh, the, so we, we can define such a filtration and we will see that uh, it has the same properties as the, the Hodge filtration corresponding for the, the E1 degeneration. <coughs> but the Lin said that uh, we should expect ex uh, indices or exponents that uh, belong to R or to C or to, to Q, sorry. Why? Uh, how do, do we introduce uh, uh, rational exponents here? We will introduce rational exponents by an idea that comes from uh, Zheng Dao Yu. We, we, which says the, the following, well, we, we, we did not uh, took much care of the pole divisor, but now we can extend this, uh, this, uh, ob this sheaf, we can extend uh, the definition of this sheaf to, uh, in order to take care of the pole divisor. So let us take now any uh, alpha, between 0 and 1, and it will be rational, I mean, the usual one, the only uh, interesting ones will be uh, <coughs> rational numbers. And let me define now the, let me put an alpha here, okay, 
and we play the same game, uh, but by taking into account the pole divisor. So this, by definition, is the, the, the subshift of forms such that uh, omega belongs to uh, omega k log d, but possibly with poles bounded, more poles bounded by alpha times p, integral part of alpha times p, okay, such that, um, such that df wedge omega keeps the same order of the pole, okay? So if alpha equals zero, you recover the previous definition. As I said, you, you would expect alpha plus one in general. Okay, so we have this shift and now we, we can consider, put an alpha here. Okay, so we, we have the same uh, object. And now the, the theorem we, we proved with uh, The term we proved with Hélène, but I mean, there, there, there were many, in fact, many proofs. So with uh, Hélène, uh, myself and Zheng Dao Yu, but uh, there were also different proofs by uh, Maxim, uh, by Konsevich, and also by Moriko Saito. Uh, is the following that uh, uh, for for each alpha, say here we can take rational numbers. I mean, uh, so the the filtration f p of this complex by stupid truncation. So the uh, the, the, the spectral sequence degenerates at E1. Uh, so, uh, omega. Okay, so this is the first uh, degeneration. Uh, and moreover, what what is the, the I mean what is the, the cohomology group we find there on the on the right hand side? So the the cohomology group here is isomorphic. So for any alpha, it's isomorphic to the same one, which is just the cohomology of the twisted Durham complex d plus d f. So you, you can think of it as a as exponential e to the f. Okay, so this is the the cohomology the, the Lin was looking for, was considering. And moreover, this uh, uh, this uh, the the filtration we, we get here that I I, I will call uh, the fil irregular Hodge filtration depending on alpha. So this is the image. Uh, the filtration we, we get here for each p and alpha is independent of the choice of the compactification. So only depends on you. Together with it, its function. Okay. And the last point, we, we want to speak of a filtration indexed by rational numbers. So the last point is that, in fact, if you set, uh, say, f irregular p minus alpha to be exactly this one, so you, you group p and minus alpha, uh, so this was defined for each 
independent alpha, but now you, you group them together, then this is a decreasing filtration. Indexed by, by Q. Yeah, yeah, yes. You, you take uh, for for all alpha, of course. Okay. For for for. Uh, sorry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, but uh, Deline already had seen that uh, you should be careful because, in fact, this filtration does not come from a kind of Hodge decomposition with respect to conjugation. Some some. Uh, okay. So we have the filtration, not the. Uh, or just decomposition in some sense. How about the jumps? The? Jumps. Oh, so the, the jumps, you, you see the, the jumps, they are, cont so you see, you see the jumps where um, the, uh, this sequence of divisors jumps, a priori, I mean, this bound, the, the jumps. So the, the alphas that make the filtration jump are rational numbers whose denominators are, say, some multiplicities of the divisor, the, of the pole divisor, okay? And later, I will interpret this in terms of uh, local uh, eigenvalues of local monodromies, exponential 2 pi i alpha, okay? So I would say, I, I would like to say that this irregular Hodge filtration has a kind of monodromic origin, I mean, this because of that. Okay. This is a, a algebraic cohomology also for all yes, the yes, yes, yes. Because if you took a, a <coughs> analytic cohomology over U, it would change depending on alpha, I guess. So, uh, well, uh, analytic cohomology over U would not, I mean, you would not see much, uh, I mean, this is really, uh, you would not see much uh, things here. Uh, like this. Uh, I mean, okay. So now let me. Uh, go. Oh. Let me go further. Uh, in the hope of the line. So the line uh, said we we twist with a variation of a structure, okay? So let me now uh, speak about the exponential, exponential twist. Of a mixed Hodge module. Okay, so now, instead of considering just variations of Hodge structures, we have the, the tools of mixed Hodge module theory. So we can, uh, with uh, uh, six functors and so on, so we are in better shape to, uh, to work with uh, this kind of objects. So, the, so this is the theory of uh, Moriko Saito. Let me, I will not define them, I mean, would be too long, but just say that what, what is a mixed Hodge module? Uh, on, so x, now x say any smooth uh, quasi-projective uh, of, of our complex numbers. Even smooth is not necessary, but just for simplicity. So uh, what, what is a mixed Hodge module? Is, we, we start, it, it's a tuple of objects. So the objects are mainly uh, a uh, D module, which means a, a O module with flat connection, with a flat connection, and a filtration. So this is a, what we call a holonomic D module on X, even a regular holonomic, plus a filtration. Uh, it, it has a perverse component, so F, a Q perverse shift. Okay. 
Okay, so let, let me just say what, what is a pure Hodge module first. So a pure Hodge module consists of, of such data plus a comparison isomorphism between the cohomology of uh, Durham cohomology of the D module and the uh, complexified uh, perverse sheaf. Okay, this is the comparison. And of course, there are many uh, properties that I don't want to, 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 to discuss more. But so we have two, two, two legs, so the filtered D module and the perverse sheaf. And uh, for the mixed case, well, we, we, we had a, a weight filtration on the perverse sheaf. Okay. So this is very roughly what a mixed Hodge module looks like. And uh, now the point is that, so, the, the, the M, as I said, is an O module, OX module with connection, not necessarily coherent, but quasi coherent with a flat connection. Okay. And we have the notion of a twist by DF exactly as we did with uh, O with, uh, the co with flat connection D. So we can consider the twist uh, of this module, so M, that what Deligny would call E to the F tensor M, which is just the same M, but with a twisted connection. Okay, and now F is uh, from X to uh, X, say F is just a rational function. on x. So, for example, uh, it's defined uh, on some, on some uh, variety here. Okay, so we, we consider this object. Possibly we have to uh, restrict to u to be uh, sure that we get uh, some uh, good algebraic object, but we, ha we have this object. But the, the moment we twist by e to the f, we leave the word of Hodge theory. Uh, this is because of a famous result of, uh, the, of uh, Griffiths saying that uh, the, 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 the connection of uh, variation, polarizable variation of Hodge structure is automatically with regular singularities. Okay? So the moment we do that, we introduce irregular singularities at infinity for uh, of the uh, uh, relative to f, and then we leave the world, and so we, we lose completely uh, the tools of Hodge theory. But nevertheless, uh, we, we, we can give the following uh, definition. Say that uh, uh, a dim holonomic d-module, dx module, M is of exponential Hodge origin if it can be obtained by, uh, by, uh, the, by uh, applying to some, uh, say, dy, for some y, uh, module underlying a mixed touch module, <coughs> if it can be obtained by starting from some nice mi mixed touch module by applying uh, su successive operations, say, e to the f, uh, push uh, forward, Push, pull, pull back, and uh, all the operation of geometry you can think of. I mean, uh, but you, you add tensoring with exponential f. Okay? 
So Maxim uh, had considered similar things for the motivic, uh, uh, the motivic objects. But le, le, so I would say it, it is of exponential Hodge origin. So in some sense, this, this is the category that uh, the line, I mean the object on these uh, D module, the line wanted to, to put a, a Hodge filtration, irregular Hodge filtration in some sense. Okay. So the problem that this is not very uh, clear how to detect that given uh, holonomic module, so that ca it can be can have a very complicated irregular singularities. Uh, it is not clear that uh, such a module has been obtained by such a procedure. Okay. So, uh, but first. Uh, th there is a, a simpler description of this category. There is a simpler description uh, saying that, uh, so it's a proposition. Which says that, in fact, well, this uh, operation were quite complicated, but in fact, you can do much sim uh, in a much simpler way. So M uh, on X, so holonomic DX module is of exponential Hodge origin. If and only if there exists a rig uh, 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 say Hodge a mixed Hodge module. Um, let me call it N, capital N, on uh, the product X cross A1. So you just need to take A1 with one variable, let me call it T. Okay, such that uh, uh, M, the curly M, has been obtained from the curly N uh, underlying our mixed Hodge module just by tensoring with T, exponential T. So we just tensor by exponential T. N is on the product. And then we push forward. So take the push forward in the sense of D modules of this object. So we don't need so, so many uh, operations, mainly because the category of mixed Hodge modules is stable by all operations except this one. Mm -hmm. So the product, tensor product is the exterior tensor product? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, no, I mean, not exterior, no, sorry, not exterior, because uh, <coughs> N lives on the product already. It is, is it, so, 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 uh, A1. A1, yes. So it, it means that N, N, N has a connection oh, NABLA. N lives on the product. N lives on the product. So, 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 so this, is, uh, this is N and NABLA plus DT. Okay? okay. Then just, then just add some coordinate. This is Kenan also says that N, there are image of N to results P to zero. At the, at the moment, not. I mean, not, but it will come. Why do you take H0? I thought the T lower star is the H0. Uh, you, uh, I, I wanted uh, one module. Uh, ah, so P lower star is our P lower star. Yes, P lower, in the sense of D modules. It's a P. It's oh, okay. A, it's, okay. A, it's a P, P plus, if you like. In the sense, to be not too confused. It's or something like this. Okay, it's the sense of D module. So, what happens is that by this operation, you can obtain as many, I mean, the, the irregular singularity that you can obtain for curly M can be very, very complicated. You can obtain any, mostly any regular singularity. Uh, so, Yes, uh, you, you get uh, many examples. Uh, okay, so this operation is quite simple. Just twist by one coordinate and push forward. 
but uh, it, as the, the geometry of the singular support of curly n can be complicated, uh, this complicated geometry may produce very complicated irregular singularities on the curly m. Okay, that's the, the idea. So we, we, we get, uh, maybe not all, we don't know, maybe not all holon irregular holonomic dimodules, but we, get, we can get uh, very irregular holonomic dimodules. So is, is this class also stable by nearby invention cycles? You mean, uh, if you only, you, you only consider operations on X, Okay, functions on X, uh, push forwards, and, and so on, and nearby vanishing cycles. This is uh, stable, yes. Yes, but you you do not uh, you do not have to to mix with the variable t. This is <laughs> okay. So uh, well, and so to to answer the to answer the the question of of uh, Maxime. Uh, This leads to introduce uh, a la uh, Konsevich Zoibelman. This leads to introduce a category uh, of modules, so that we, we call exponential mixed Hodge modules on X, which is the, the category, uh, which is the category of uh, the mixed Hodge modules on the product, so it's a subcategory, and a subcategory consisting of those objects such that uh, this, uh, the push forward uh, uh, onto x is zero. Uh, Uh, p plus n is zero, p star, in the sense of Hodge modules. Okay, so this is a, a nice category, but in some sense, if we, I mean, we still have the problem that given any Hodge module, we do not know how to detect that it belongs to this category because we do not know how to, to check that, uh, um, to, to check that It, there exists such a uh, capital N. And so for, for that, uh, I will, um, the, the, I will uh, now switch to uh, uh, generalization, which, which are called mixed twister D modules. Oui. No, no. Uh, here there is no uh, no no here there is no exponential twist, but what I am interested in is the push forward when you twist. Okay, so you restrict to this object which uh, do not have. Uh, uh, no, sorry. Here you you have expo an, an exponential twist. Okay, but you restrict to those n that in fact do not produce anything by. So you, 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 you... So that means you will also restrict the M if you take on yes, this. Yes, okay, yes. thank you. I apologize. Yes. So the, this kind of definition is, uh, goes back to, to Konsevich and Zorgelman. I mean. In the, for example, in case of X is a point, it is called exponential mixed structures. Okay, so I said uh, that uh, we, we completely lose uh, Hodge properties by, uh, by uh, tensoring by an exponential like this. In fact, not. Uh, because we have a larger category 
that includes the twist by uh, exponential uh, of functions, uh, which has been introduced by uh, Moshizuki. So, uh, and I will put uh, integrable mix. I will not also define it. So this is uh, by Takuro Moshizuki. I will not define it. But now everything, I mean, although uh, we, we, we do not, uh, we, we, we cannot remain inside the category of mixed surge module, in, in fact, we remain inside this category of mixed twister D modules. Okay, that, that's already uh, something very strong. And, uh, the, but, and the, the point is how to detect that such a holonomic D module uh, is of exponential origin. Uh, we, we don't have uh, wh what kind of tools <coughs> do we have? So now the point is that an object uh, of uh, a mixed with sturdy modules has many legs, as I as before. But one leg is a is a D module, so holonomic D module, uh, and more precisely, it's a holonomic O module. It's a O module on the product of x cross x, cross c, sorry. Uh, so c now has variable lambda. It's not the same as before. And uh, this var variable uh, lambda uh, allows uh, uh, to define on m a lambda connection. OK, so we, we have a, a parameter lambda inside of m that is hidden in some sense. So now it's not m, let me call it m tilde to, 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 to be sure that we are not with the same m. And uh, so uh, what, what can we do? We, we, we have this connection, so the point is that we can rescale lambda. So we, we, we can uh, replace lambda with tau times lambda for tau in C star. And uh, so, given uh, such an object directly, we can rescale uh, the connection. And if the rescaling, so if the rescaling has good properties at uh, tau equals zero, so at the limit tau equals zero. Uh, we obtain uh, a subcategory of this category, so for, formed by those uh, mixed twister D module with good properties at tau equals zero for the rescaling. And I recall this category, uh, the category of irregular mixed Hodge modules on the underlying variety. And now if the rescaling Uh, so if the rescaling has good properties at tau equals zero and tau equals infinity, we obtain a subcategory which is uh, smaller, which is called, uh, that uh, Moshizuki calls, uh, rescalable integrable mixed twist order module. So we use this internal uh, structure to define sub such categories. And now there is a theorem of uh, Mochizuki. Which tells that, uh, in fact, uh, this category of exponential mixed Hodge modules on X, so those uh, uh, D modules, is equivalent to uh, this one. So the so those mixed twister D modules which, which for which the scaling is good either I mean, both at zero, tau equals zero and tau equals infinity. Okay. Uh, it's in a uh, recent paper. I mean, okay. it's a paper called Rescalable, uh, something okay. like this. At the end of this, this paper. 
Okay, so we. Yeah, what do you mean by good? Uh, so I, I have I have introduced. Uh, so in fact, uh, when tau equals to c star, what what we get is still a, a mixed three star d module on x cross c star with parameter tau. Okay, we, so the we we the rescaling object, the rescaled object, is uh, a mixed three star d module on uh, this product a, x times c star. Uh, with variable tau. Okay. Now, good means that this object extends as a mixed twister d module uh, on x cross c or on the other chart. Okay. You mean x cross c star or you mean x cross c lambda cross c star? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. I mean, a mixed twister d module is an object, I mean, a priori it's, you, it's on x, but of course it has an internal structure, it is an object on x cross c lambda, in fact, it has many legs. Okay. Okay, then, uh, so, and the, 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 there is an, another theorem which uses the first category uh, that I proved with uh, Zhang Dao, is that uh, every object of uh, the irregular uh, category, the category of irregular mixage module. So only considering the behavior at tau equals zero for the rescaling admits a canonical, uh, say, let me call irregular odd filtration. On, on what? On not on M tilde, but on M, which is uh, M tilde restricted to lambda equals to one. So M tilde was defined with the variable lambda, but the object we are interested in is its restriction to lambda equals to one. Okay. So in some sense, this gives the the the. And, and just a, a word for this irregular filtration, as I said before, uh, its construction uses, uh, it's also of monodromic origin, namely this construction uses the monodromy of this rescaling parameter around tau equals zero as a, uh, as a, for its definition. But it gives, uh, the, in fact, the, the, the domain where we, we have uh, an irregular Hodge filtration. And this irregular Hodge filtration has good properties. So a uh, nice uh, properties with respect to some functors, to some of the six operations. But not, but not in general, I mean, we do not know for the pullback. So pullback. So pullback is still, uh, we still do not understand well what happens for the irregular Hodge filtration. So we do not understand what limiting properties of the irregular Hodge filtration uh, around the irregular singularity. So at the moment, we do not understand that. Okay, so I would like to end uh, the, the talk by discussing the last, I mean, last point in the, or the first point in the title, which means vanishing theorem. So you see the idea behind this is that we have a category, so either the smallest one, the exponential mixed Hodge modules or the irregular mixed Hodge modules. We, we have the cat uh, category with objects which uh, is not a geometric category, but it is uh, uh, twisted by exponentials. But the, uh, we, we expect, we expect uh, understanding this problem, and we expect that the uh, irregular Hodge filtration uh, behaves in some sense like the usual one in, usual, in algebraic geometry. So I would like to finish by uh, uh, considering vanishing theorems. for the irregular Hodge filtrations. 
Okay, so let, let me come back to the uh, classic, the case we considered at the beginning. So we, we had x, so u equal x minus d. And uh, we, we know the uh, x now is projective. I, I consider an ample bun line bundle on x. And we know the Codera uh, vanishing theorem that setting. Namely, that uh, hk of x uh, omega p uh, x log d twisted by L should be zero uh, uh, if, uh, so let me put q to be, uh, should be zero if uh, uh, p plus q uh, bigger than the the dimension, and if you twist by inverse of L, should be zero uh, if p plus q is smaller. So we have these two theorems, and in fact, I would like to see as a so this is Codera vanishing, and I will to see of the next theorem. So you remember, we, 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 we would like to replace, uh, if we have a function, so f from u to a1. So we, we had uh, the, the, these sheaves, these Konsevich u sheaves. Yeah? So the same vanishing. for uh, the, 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 the same thing with omega p x log d f alpha. Okay, so we have exactly the same, uh, same kind of vanishing. So wh where, where does it come from? Uh, well, for the, we, we, we can, I mean, we, we can uh, extend, I mean, there is this Codera Saito vanishing theorem. So one can regard uh, this uh, Codera vanishing as a particular case. Uh, if you have a, a mixed Hodge module on X, So what, what uh, Saito tells us is that, so we, we have the filtered D module underlying this uh, mixed Hodge module, one, one of the legs of the mixed Hodge module. Uh, in this theory of mixed Hodge modules, uh, Saito considers uh, mo uh, increasing filtrations. Okay, so I put the dot uh, down. And uh, we can consider the Durham complex uh, of this module, which is filtered as, uh, as we did for the uh, filtration by stupid truncation. It is we can filter the Durham complex of the D module. So we can consider the graded, uh, the graded complex. Okay. So Saito considers this graded complex, which is in fact uh, uh, in the some special in the special case where you take uh, o, o x with poles al along d, it would be uh, quasi isomorphic to this. Uh, for, I mean, for minus p, you would get uh, omega p log d. So we have this uh, graded complex, which is the sum for all p, all p the of uh, uh, similar to omega p x log d. And uh, so Saito tells us that uh, uh, the, the cohomology, so the, the cohomology of this complex twisted by L or L inverse uh, 
Uh, so now I take all the all the p's together. Hmm? No, I, I don't have p here. So I take any hk, and be careful that in in this theory the ram is not the usual the ram; it is uh, shifted by the dimension. So Saito tells us that this is zero for any k positive. And uh, similar, if you twist by L inverse for any k negative. Okay, so we have this uh, we have this result, and uh, what I succeeded to prove. Uh, so this is cyto vanishing, and then there 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 is an irregular codera uh, vanishing. So, which is a consequence of the, which is obtained as a consequence of the good properties of the irregular Hodge filtration of F here that I mentioned. I mean, the good properties we, we have are enough. Uh, which they, they, are, they were proved either by uh, Takuro or myself. Okay, so these good properties, we have enough good properties to, in some sense, mimic the proof of Moriko Saito. And so by mimicking the proof of Moriko Saito in the mixed Hodge module case, we obtain that uh, uh, same thing if M underlies, so if M underlies uh, an irregular mixed Hodge module, So it's a irregular holonomic d-module, but it has a irregular Hodge filtration. Then, uh, say, Codera Saito vanishing holds. For uh, well, the the same, the graded object, and here the graded object. Recall that the irregular Hodge filtration was indexed by rational numbers or real numbers, possibly. And the graded object is uh, really the graded in that sense. Namely, you take for uh, some uh, real number A, the, the lowest, the you, you caution by all uh, levels of the irregular filtration, which are just below. Okay? So, this uh, for this object, okay. So we we have uh, vector. We have a sh so, sorry. So we have uh, sheaves or coherent sheaves, the like uh, bundles uh, that satisfy similar properties. Uh, so we are not so far from the usual algebraic geometry. Okay, maybe I stop here. Question? Yes. So at the beginning of your talk, you mentioned that uh, you could recover uh, Stolberg's uh, result, uh, Newton about a half in yes. this context. Yes. Okay, can you elaborate a little bit? So, uh, we, we, we start with the, uh, the, the point is the following. So, we start with a, let me write it here. We, for, let me take a, one, I mean, one, one, uh, one case that uh, considered uh, Adolfson and Sperber was the case of a uh, Laurent polynomial uh, with many variables, say, possibly, defined over Z. And they, they consider various restrictions to, to, to characteristic P. And to this Laurent polynomial, they, they, they consider such Laurent polynomials that are ca called convenient and non-degenerate. In the sense of Kushnirenko. And 
they work with these objects and they associate uh, to these uh, to these data uh, uh, a polygon, so a filtration on the Jacobian ideal. Say I will take uh, now complex coefficients. So on the ja uh, on the Jacobian ideal, so from the partial derivatives. And uh, they, which is called the, it's also called the Newton filtration, but it's not the, the arithmetic uh, Newton filtration. So, and from this filtration, one one gets a polygon that should be, uh, and, and they, they, I, I, this polygon for them plays the role of the Hodge polygon, namely it plays the role of the of the lo uh, lower bound polygon for the Newton polygon uh, of f or any p. Okay. So uh, let, let I, I put. Uh, so Adolson and Sperber were much aware that this polygon was related in some sense to uh, Hodge theory. The, it, the, it is written, I mean, in, in singularity theory, we, we know that such a construction uh, uh, corresponds to Hodge theory for singularities. But in, in this uh, global setting for uh, Laurent polynomial, uh, th there was no such uh, Hodge theory. Now what happens is that um, this filtration here, the, which is constructed in a combinatorial way, we now understand that this is uh, exactly uh, the irregular Hodge filtration on the, the twisted so here there is only one twisted Durham cohomology. That can be uh, this twisted Durham cohomology can be identified with this vector space in the case we are considering, and this uh, Durham cohomology has a, an irregular Hodge filtration by the first theorem I told, and we now understand that in fact this is the exactly the filtration they were considering at that time. Okay. So in fact, we, we, we do have the, the same uh, object. Well, in fact, it's related to you, so uh, uh, one could think that the uh, irregular Kodaro vanishing uh, you proof could be used, could be um, uh, proved, maybe? Uh, using uh, the Lini Busy Renault uh, method uh, <laughs> as uh, initiated by Maxim yes. uh, in the earlier case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, up to up to the uh, up to the, the point of considering uh, rational indices or not. Yeah, it's one of the difficulties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. No, no. Of of course, uh, one could uh, uh, in in here. I mean, here it is a. Uh, it is very general, but the, the, the upper one, which is very geometric and very precise, yeah, I, I think, I mean... It, oh, the so upper one, there is no doubt. I see, yeah. I, I haven't <laughs> done it, but uh, I, would, I would think, yeah. 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 Okay, so you mean by the way, it was written to Yes, yes. Yeah. A historical question. It was also Barshenko very early defined some kind of... What kind of Hodge filtration is related to singularities? Yeah, was it before the link or what kind of, what kind of interaction between the link and partial? Uh, I, I think I, I think uh, <laughs> both knew uh, what, what was doing, but Varshenko was uh, really in the case of singularities. Varshenko was considering uh, filtration. Varshenko proved yeah. that. Uh, for the Hodge theory, the sorry, the Hodge filtration on vanishing cycles for a singularity, so a germ of holomorphic function with isolated singularity, uh, can be in that case, in case uh, this Hodge uh, filtration could be computed by this uh, fil combinatorial filtration that uh, Adolson and Sperber also used here. Oh. But I think his code filtration is not steel brick. Yes, it's not algebraic geometry. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but, but it, it, it is it is uh, it is true after grading by the weight filtration. Yeah. So it's it's not so so far. 
in, in, in uh, yes, so in any case, uh, you are right. I mean, this idea, uh, I mean, in the case of, uh, of a singularity, the Hodge filtration constructed by Varshenko uh, is really in the same way here it's as. Hmm. The only point is that usually, because it is a true Hodge filtration, we do not shift the indices by the uh, eigenvalue, I mean, the log of the eigenvalue of monodromy. We, we still keep with uh, integers. <laughs> now, here, in general, it is better to, to shift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's like still breaking the operation for structure of C star. You got make sure you rational. Yeah. 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 <coughs> so, during the talk, you were uh, considering some uh, normal flat connections of a specific kind. So the rank one, the exponential ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, maybe one can wonder whether it happen for more general flat connections. Of course, I mean, this kind of Fourier transform is not yeah. available, but is there any speculation maybe what does it happen for more general flat connections? Uh, what, what do you mean by more general? Uh, no, but I mean, uh, yes, yeah, so in general, you, you can twist by uh, any exponent. Uh, uh, closed one form we can replace uh, it. Yes. So the problem with the problem uh, with closed one forms in general is that I, I, I went very fast <laughs> in this theory. Uh, so there is a word here which is called integrable. But I, I did not say anything about it. So the advantage of twisting by exponential of a function is that we remain in this uh, setting, and we can do rescaling. When we when we twist by a closed one, any closed one form, uh, uh, we remain within the, the theory of uh, mixed twist or module, but in general we lose uh, such a property that I did not explain, and we lose the possibility of rescaling. And this method does not. Uh, lead to, I mean, we, we cannot uh, use this method to, to produce some filtration in some sense. Okay, so the point is that uh, for any closed one form, we, we do not keep this integrability uh, property. Uh, well, but it there might be some filtration mm -hmm. from, from uh, some other... I mean, we, we, we have a very strong tool. I mean, these mixed twist or demodules are really strong tool, but the problem with mixed twist or demolition is that we do not have many, say, uh, numerical invariants like uh, Hodge numbers or things like this. So, in that case, we can produce them with the irregular Hodge filtration. But more generally, I, I don't know which kind of uh, invariants we can produce. There was a question? Yeah, yeah. so let's send the speaker again. Thank you.